good morning students say your prayer thank you naan or nalla seriyar naan ungalku thaayagum thandeyam merudum uriyaga anbodu kalviy bodipen naan or nalla seriyar naan ungalku thaayagum thandeyam merudum uriyaga anbodu kalviy bodipen naan or nalla seriyar naan ungalku thaayagum thandeyam merudum uriyaga anbodu kalviy bodipen okay students take your social science book yeah take page number 155 we will move to the next lesson in geography landforms so in the first lesson we discussed about the interior of the earth so crust mantle core then the movement of the earth so which cause earthquake then volcanic eruption and also about tsunami so we discussed about this and all in detail yeah, so in this lesson we will discuss detail about the different landforms so how the different landforms are formed okay wow. so let us move into the lesson so learning objectives so what are you going to learn in this lesson so first to understand the landforms produced by running water so running water means yeah river so the different landforms produced by or formed by rivers okay yeah. then to describe the landforms created by glacial action so glaciers you know yeah glaciers are nothing but big ice okay yeah. so large mass of ice is called as glaciers so the landmass formed by the action of glaciers then third one to learn about the landforms which are produced by wind action so due to the flow of air so wind that is nothing but uh, the horizontal flow of air is called as wind so what was the landform formed by the action of wind then fourth one to gain knowledge about the landforms formed by the sea waves okay wow. so the landforms formed by the action of sea waves okay wow. so in this lesson you are going to learn about the different landforms formed by the action of running water then by glaciers then by wind and also by the sea waves okay so there are several exogenic forces that forms different landforms so in this lesson you are going to learn just four yeah so just four things yeah so first by the action of running water then by the glaciers and by the wind and lastly by the sea waves so in this video you are going to learn about the landform formed by the action of running water so that is river introduction so earth has an infinite variety of landforms so infinite means so there are lot of varieties so the earth landform is not uniform so it is divided into mountains then it consists of plateaus so plains valleys etc yeah so earth land surface is not uniform so it is infinite yeah so it is divided into so it has various landforms such as mountains plateaus plains valleys etc so some part of the lithosphere may be rugged so rugged means having broken rocky and uneven surface so some part of the lithosphere is have uneven surface okay so some part of the lithosphere have uneven surface and some are flat so some look like a flat surface okay ma so these landforms are result of two process so why this type of landforms uh, formed means so because of the two process so one is endogenic process and another one is exogenic process okay ma so earth has an infinite variety of landforms so which are named as mountains plateaus plains valleys etc then some part of the lithosphere may be rugged that means they have broken or with uneven surface and some are flat so why this type of landform means so because of the two process so one is called as endogenic process and another one is called as exogenic process so endogenic process is called as internal process so which lead to the upliftment so upliftment means so rise of the land yeah so during earthquake so when two plates collide with each other means so one plate move upward so uh, just for an example so it is a process of upliftment you know so endogenic process and the sinking yeah so when two plates move away means so it uh, leads to the formation of sink so that is it goes down okay ma wow. or uh, sometimes if uh, two plate collide with each other means one plate goes down and another plate moves up oh, yeah so there there is an upliftment and sinking process took place okay this is endogenic process 
then exogenic process so continuous wearing down and rebuilding of the land surface so wearing means removing so rebuilding means so depositing so both process so endogenic and exogenic process so formed the surface of the earth then gradation so it is the process of leveling of high lands through erosion and filling up of the low lands through deposition okay so in gradation process in the region of high land erosion process took place and in the region of low lands deposition process took place so erosion means removing deposition means so placing or depositing the things or depositing the process or depositing process which involves in the formation of new land surface then landforms okay so landforms so landscape is being continuously worn down by two process weathering and erosion that is so the land is continuously damaged so land surface is continuously damaged by two process one is called as weathering and another one is called as erosion so weathering what is meant by weathering so it is the breaking and the falling apart into small pieces of the rocks on the earth surfaces so weathering is nothing but the breaking and the falling of rocks into small pieces on earth surface so during weathering activity so the rock surface in the earth breaks down and it was fall into and it was thrown into various regions of the earth so that is called as weathering so erosion what do you mean by erosion erosion is the bearing down of the landscape by different agents like water wind ice and sea waves so erosion is nothing but bearing down that is damaging or removing down of the landscape by different agents so what are the different agents so that involves in erosion process your water wind ice and sea waves so the this erodible material is carried away by water wind etc and eventually deposited so one area the water wind and sea waves erode the particles and uh, there are particles were deposited in another region by the same river then water wind etc yeah. so this process of erosion and deposition create different landforms on the surface of the earth so this uh, erosion process and deposition process by the water and wind so form different types of landforms in the surface of the earth so landforms so continuously worn down by two process so one is called as weathering and another one is called as erosion so weathering so nothing but the break and breakdown and the falling of small pieces of rocks so breakdown of rocks into small pieces is called as weathering then erosion means so bearing and deposition of land surface so bearing of landscape then deposition of uh, these erosion particles in a region by the agents like water wind ice sea waves is called as erosion so this process of erosion and deposition create different landforms on the surface of the earth so in this class we will discuss about the different landforms formed by the action of river so what is a river so the water flowing from its source to river mouth along a definite course is called as river so river is nothing but running water so from the place of origin and to the place where it meets the sea is called as a river so the water flowing from its source to mouth that is the mouth may be a sea or a ocean so along a definite course so along a along a uh, well definite route or well definite path is called as river so river generally originate from a mountain or hill so most of the rivers originate in a mountain or in a hill yeah so river means so nothing but the water flowing from its source to river mouth along a definite course so the rivers originate from a mountain or hill so the place of origin of river is known as source so the place of the origin of river is known as source that is the place where the river origin is called as a source then the place where the river joins a lake or sea or an ocean is called river mouth so the place where the river joins a lake or sea or an ocean is known as river mouth so the origin place is called as source then the place where it joins a lake or sea or an ocean is known as river mouth then just to recall so what we have discussed so we discussed about the the two process so what are the two process that forms the different land surfaces 
yeah endogenic and exogenic process then different landforms so what are the two process so that formed the land surfaces yeah weathering and erosion so name the different agents so that involves in the process of erosion yeah water wind ice and sea waves so now we were discussing about the running water river the v shaped value so the land form formed by the action of running water river so the running water in the river erodes the mountainous track which creates a steep sided so that is here you can see the falling sharply so steep means falling sharply so uh, falling sharply sided value like the letter v so look at this picture so it look like v now so how it formed means so because of the running water the rock surfaces get eroded and formed a v shaped value so english letter v it look like english letter v now so uh, this is formed due to the erosion activity of river okay ma? so while the river running through the rock surfaces it erodes the rock surfaces and thus formed the v shaped value then waterfall falling of river water over a vertical step in the river bed is called as waterfall so waterfall uh, how it look like yeah the water so fall from top of the rock surfaces so when the water so fall from vertical step in the river bed is called as waterfall it is formed when the soft rocks are removed by erosion so look at this picture yeah so when the water so flows over hard rock and soft rock means so the material in the soft rock get eroded and by means of time that is after a period of time so the soft rock get eroded completely and uh, the water falls vertically so from hard rock to soft rock it falls vertically which look like a waterfall yeah then uh, look at the base so plunge pool so plunge pool so it is a hollow feature at the base of waterfall which is formed by cavitation so cavitation means so formation of a space within a solid yeah so because of the continuous fall of water the rock surface the soft rock at the bottom get eroded so and uh, it forms a v shaped or forms a curve shaped structure so it is called as plunge pool okay so waterfall it is nothing but falling of river water over a vertical step in the river bed yeah it is formed when soft rocks are removed by erosion so when the river water run over hard rock and then soft rock means so the soft rock get eroded and it forms a waterfall so at the edge of the waterfall it forms a plunge pool yeah, so at the bottom of the waterfall it forms a plunge pool so it is because so the water when flow from higher point to lower point means so the lower part get eroded yeah so because of the high force and pressure the lower part get eroded and form a plunge pool okay ma? so you can see in this picture so the formation of waterfalls okay ma? so this slide is the that is this picture is the world highest waterfall so which one is the world highest waterfall yeah it is called as angel falls so it is situated in venezuela a country so in which continent it is located yeah south america yeah so do you know the location of south america yeah take your if you have any world map so take it and find so you have learned it in your previous classes so south american continent so there is a country called as venezuela in that venezuela the world highest waterfall angel falls is located so this is the world highest waterfall angel falls okay ma so just to recall the different landforms formed by the river till now so v shaped value then waterfall then plunge pool okay ma then alluvial fan so the river so collects various things from the mountain region and deposit it in the foot hills okay so the 
bottom of the foot that is at the foot heels so the river deposits various sediments so under thus they enters the plane so it look like a fan shaped so that's why it was called as alluvial fan so alluvial fan is nothing but deposition of sediments occurs at the river enters a plane so the from the foot hills region the river start to enter the plane you know so these foot hills so the river formed a fan shaped sediments so that is called as alluvial fan so because the river deposits alluvial soil okay so since it is Uh, look like a fan shaped it is called as alluvial fan so look at this picture so it look like a fan shaped structure now okay ma? yeah so it is like a fan shaped structure so that's why it was called as alluvial fan so alluvial fan is a deposition of sediment occurs at which the river enters a plain or the foot hills you yeah, know so at the edge of the foot at the edge of the mountains or hill it form a fan shaped sediments Okay, yeah, so at the foot of the hills or at the foot of the mountains, that is at the edge of the mountains, the rivers deposits the sediments, which look like fan shaped. So that's why it was called as alluvial fan. Then meanders and oxbow lakes. So how the meanders was formed? So as the river enters the plain, it twists and turns, forming a large bend known as meanders. So when the river enters the plain, it twist and turns forming a large bend so you can see in this picture so it uh, form a large bend which is called as meander so due to continuous erosion and the deposition along the sides of the meander the ends of the meander come closer so because the at the plains so the river deposits the sediments which were collected by the river from the mountainous region you yeah, know so the river during erosion process so collect various depositions from the or various materials from the mountainous region and deposit in the sides of the meander so uh, due to the process the ends of the meander loops come closer so due to this process the ends of the meander loops come closer in due course of time the meander loop cuts off from the river and forms a cut off lake which is called as oxbow lake so you can see in this picture you know so first the river forms a meander and because of the continuous deposition so the loop once meet and cut off from the main river you know so thus it forms the oxbow lake so meander is nothing but when the river enters the plain it twists and turns forming a large bend you know so due to continuous erosion and deposition along the sides of the meander the ends of the meander loops come closer so the meander loop come closer so because of the deposition activity you know so the river continuously deposits the sediments okay you know, so that the loops come closer so in due course of time the meander loop cuts off from the river and forms a oxbow lake okay you know, so you can see in this picture so thus the meander and the oxbow lake was formed you know so the river why it forms several bend means so because of the deposition of the sediments okay you know, so since the river deposits the sediments here the speed of the river and the direction of the river changes often yeah so that's why it form a meander and the meander in due course of time formed the oxbow lake then flood plain and libis so flood plain so nothing but the so fertile region you know so the flat fertile region is called as flood plain so how it was formed means so when the river so flowing over the plain means it deposits the sediments in its bank you know so when the river so flows over the plain region means it deposits the sediments in its bank you know so the deposit layer consists of uh, fertile soil and other materials you know so the deposit layer consists of uh, fertile soil and other materials and it is called as sediments you know so this leads to the formation of a flat fertile flood plain so then the river bank uh, which is in raised structure is called as levees you know so the river bank which is raised so due to the continuous deposition of sediments is called as levees okay wow. so the at the time the river overflow of its bank when the river flowing through the plain region means it overflows we yeah, so this lead to the flooding of the neighboring areas it result in the flooding of neighbor neighbor areas when the river overflow of its bank means it lead to the formation of it lead to the flooding yeah so as the river floods 
it deposits layers of fine soil and other materials so as the river floods it deposits the layers of fine soil and other materials which is called as sediments yeah so this leads to the formation of flat fertile plain so these raised banks are called as levees so these raised banks are called as levees so flood plain so nothing but formed due to the deposition activity you know that is the sediments are deposited in the bank okay ma? then leave is how it was formed means so due to continuous deposition of the sediments so the river banks the height of the river bank get increased so that is called as levees okay ma? then when the river approaches the sea the speed of the flowing water decreases so when the river approaches the sea that is when the river at the point of c when the river is going to meet the sea means so the speed of the water the speed of the flowing water decreases and the river begins to break up into a number of streams so the river water break into a number of streams so running water which is called as distributaries so when the river approaches the sea the speed of the flowing water decreases so that the river breaks into a number of streams which is called as distributary okay va so this picture shows the distributary so the river water so breaks into various streams yeah so because the speed of the river decreases and here the deposition of the rivers took place in large amount so that the river breaks into a number of streams so it is called as distributary then when the river approaches the sea the speed of the flowing water decreases so when the river approaches the sea that is when the river at the point of sea when the river is going to meet the sea means so the speed of the water the speed of the flowing water decreases and the river begins to break up into a number of streams so the river water break into a number of streams so running water which is called as distributaries so when the river approaches the sea the speed of the flowing water decreases so that the river breaks into a number of streams which is called as distributary okay va? so this picture shows the distributary so the river water so breaks into various streams yeah so because the speed of the river decreases and here the deposition of the rivers took place in large amount so that the river breaks into a number of streams so it is called as distributary then the velocity of the river also becomes slow so the river's uh, velocity becomes slow so that it begins to deposits load yeah so here in this region the river deposits sediment in large amount yeah so the collection of sediments from all the mouth forms the delta so the deposition in this region was called as the delta so the velocity of the river becomes slow so that it begins to deposit load so since the here the river meets the sea the movement of river is very slow so that it begins to deposit load here in large amount so and to form a yeah, delta yeah so these deltas are excellent productive land that means so these deltas are well suitable for agricultural process so because the various things collected by the rivers are finally deposited in this region and the movement of water that is the flowing of water here is very slow so that the region was rich in fertile soil and also rich in water content so that's why it is very suitable for agriculture okay ma so that is delta so delta region is suitable for agriculture okay students so this slide shows the ganges delta so the top view so you can look at this you can see in this picture so the river water that is the ganges river so break into many distributaries okay ma so the river values so the land form formed by the running water river over okay ma so we have discussed about the endogenic exogenic process then the different land forms okay ma so the agents which involved in the formation of different la lands like water wind ice and sea waves in this we discussed about the river so the what are the different land forms formed by the action of running water yeah v shaped value waterfall plunge pool alluvial fan meander oxbow lake flood plain levees distributaries and delta okay va so no doubt 
yeah if you have any doubt just to contact me then today's homework so take page number 161 yeah fifth row letter so first two question so define erosion then second what is plunge pool so define erosion so take page number 155 take na yeah then in that see the heading land form yeah in that the fifth line so fifth line the erosion is the wearing down of the landscape by different agents like water wind ice and sea waves so that is the answer for first question so land forms the heading in that the fifth line erosion is the wearing down of the landscape by different agents like water wind ice and sea waves then sand question page number 156 so what is a plunge pool yeah so that uh, box the tributary and distributary is mentioned now yeah tributary is nothing but a stream or river that flows and joins a main river so in the uh, uh, in that box so the above line the above point so in the above paragraph first point plunge pool is a hollow feature at the base of a waterfall which is formed by the cavitation yeah so there is a box which mentions about the tributary and distributary in that the above paragraph the first point so plunge pool is a hollow feature at the base of a waterfall which is formed by the cavitation so these two questions are homework write on time then read well the question okay ma? then for textbook reading take page number 156 so from 156 the first point the running water in the river so starting from that and ends with the next page right side that is at the end of the topic so there is a picture called as delta picture now yeah about the paragraph you have to read till that so from the page number 156 the running water starting from that play, uh, point to you have to complete the textbook reading in the next page So exam will cover delta Ganges delta and Mississippi delta yeah read loudly okay ma so don't forget to do your homework complete your homework read well if you have any doubt contact me so have a nice day students thank you